Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial using Adobe Photoshop. How to blur your photo or how to make uh, your boring photo how to make your boring photo or something like this stand out. Like you're going to make it stand out. So uh, this is not very difficult to do it's just that you're supposed to uh, follow every single steps so that at the end of the tutorial you may be able to know how to change backgrounds using Adobe Photoshop or uh, Photoshop's yes so this is how the photo I shoot this photo I think uh, three years ago but I'm trying to change. I use a camera which doesn't have a um, depth of field. Sometimes when you are using a, a, a long lenses to shoot a photo, the photo stand out. It will remove the background and the photo will come out very neat. It will make a photo look very sharp. But this time around, I was not able to get a very good lens, which I use this one to shoot a clear, very clear photo without any uh, separation from the background after you have shoot a photo like this and you, you wanted to get a blur background so that uh, you can give it to the customer or somebody who are looking for uh, a photo shoot you can shoot it like this and come to Adobe Photoshop and follow the steps afterwards you can give it to the person and the person will be wow you you did it very well I love the photo I love the photo you know so many people out there don't have a chance to even shoot dead or film during their photo shooting but after they have shot it you come to Adobe Photoshop and change the, the background so over here the first thing you will do is that you go to selection and you hit subject so when you hit subject as soon as you hit subject it's gonna select the subject you wait for a little while and you see something like this over here you see it has selected uh, the subject and left the background so you hit control plus C and you come over here and hit control plus V so we have two uh, photo over here we have background and layer one you have background and layer one okay so uh, this is the background and this is the layer one so when you off both visibility you cannot see nothing unless you you turn them on so we're gonna based on the background so we're gonna click on the background instead of this one we're gonna click on the background and you go to filter filter so once you enter into filter you will go to blur br sorry B L U R blur and you go to Gaussian blur Gaussian blur you see as soon as we hit on Gaussian blur you can see that we have separated the background from the picture or from the photo you can see that it, is, it looks very neat it looks very neat okay so let us let me show you once again this is the photo this is this is what we have earlier and this is what you're gonna have now. You hit Gaussian blur, you get a blur background. So if you wanted to adjust a background, you want very thick blur background, you can um, adjust uh, the radius. So I have 13.9 over here. But if you want more background, or if you want to blur the background more and more and more, you can either come to the plus icon over here and you hit on it and you can see that it is blurring the background very deep or let's say um, you can come over here and you just um, move the more you move it the more the background blur but I don't want this one I just want a little blur on my background I don't want deep background like what you, you saw though I can add more and more background but I don't want it I just want a little bit deep background or 
like shallow depth of field shallow depth of field I just want a shallow depth of field which will help me help my picture or my photo stand out so after you are okay with the blur that you have already chosen you can hit ok and Photoshop is going to calculate the number of depth of field that you have added into your photo you, do you really understand that before adding the the blur into our background the photo look very uh, deep focus there is no blur there is nothing it doesn't look photo shoot but once you've added this one you see that it's it has been it has it has it has been uh become a photo shoot it has become a photo shoot so you, this one you can either leave it like this but i just wanted to do a lot of a little bit work on this one i just want to play around and see how this photo can stand out so once you wanted to we can hit on the uh, if you wanted to even make the background the background look a little bit cinematic or a little bit photo shoot you can select the background over here and go to filter and go to camera raw filters you're gonna wait for a little while so this is the background we have earlier you can just play around if let us go to basic let's go to basic and change some settings over here and change some settings over here because I want the background to look a little bit darker so that um, my photo can stand out a little bit darker let us play around and see if it work this is how it's gonna have but I think it's not a good idea so we don't want something like this you don't want something like this alright so uh, you gonna put the both layer one and the background together because if you don't put them together what it's gonna do is that it's gonna separate the background from the uh, the subject so that your 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 what you are looking for you may not be able to achieve it so we're gonna put them together you hit control and you click on layer as soon as you hit control you click on layer in the background you can see that we have selected both the layer one and the background so you hit control and e so that we match both the layer one and the background and we have only one background instead of two so over here when we go to filter and camera raw filter we can play around the photo so that um, it will look a little bit neat so you can you can even go over here and hit the um, the eye or white balance icon over here we even gonna hit it on it because we wanted to change the white ba uh, balance so that uh, something little bit will add it to our photo so you can hit over here or you can hit over here or you can hit over here or you can hit over here you can hit over here but I need my photo to look something like this yes so you have to change the white balance if you want to change the white balance it doesn't matter how best you want the photo to look so after we change the white balance you go to either exposure or uh, either you want to close up or uh, it reduce the exposure it's I have already told you that after you have changed the photo and if you already um, meet the bled, you have already um, have your background to be bled. If you want to do a little bit work on the photo, it's over to you. But this is what I'm going I'm doing now, so you can follow suit or you can follow ahead. You can follow what I'm doing so that um, once you wanted to do something over there, you can do it. So let's do it. So I'll add a little bit contrast, and I will. I will either reduce the highlight or I'll bring more highlight. I'll go to the shadow, I'll play around, I'll play around and add a little bit shadows. Okay. And I'll go to the white. And if I wanted to add a little bit brightness, when you go to blacks, you're going to add either blacks or you're going to add more contrast or add more exposure. But I need a little bit blacks. Okay. So over here, if you want to add a little bit texture you can add small little bit not too much 
and the clarity your photo is gonna be like this when you bring it on the left side but when you bring it like something here your photo is gonna be look like junk I don't want it like that so I will leave the clarity and the haze if you want something like this see but I will leave the, the haze to I don't want the, the haze so the vibrant the vibrance you can play around the vibrance and see if you want something like this for your photo black and white or something like this but I will leave this one alright so we will go to um, the color mixture the color mixture over here we wanted to add a little bit tea and orange to change something like this a little bit of our photo so you go you can add the redness or the red a little bit red or something like this if you want in this way you can do it if you want your photo to look like this you can do it but I want something like this and the orange you can try as much if you want more orange or if you want something like this it's over to you but I don't want it I just want to keep it plus three the greens is gonna add color to the background so when you, the, as soon as you hit the green you see the background is changing background is changing as soon as you hit the greens the background is changing so if you want your background to look something like this it's over to you and if you want your background to look something like this it's over to you but I want even if you can um, you can for me I will, I, will, I will use this one and the aguas aguas add some tones to the to the photo and blues add some another tones to the photo once you hit on it you go you're gonna add more you have if you have purple color in it it's gonna add and magentas if you have magentas it's gonna add magenta more magentas onto your photo I think right now everything look good so when you hit OK, from here you're gonna have this. Isn't that awesome? I think we have done very well. Well, if you wanted to add more contrast, you can go over here and go to camera raw filters and add more and more contrast. And add more and more contrast. Something that when even somebody sees your photo, he's gonna he's gonna say, Wow. I love my photo. See, so you're gonna you can add more contrast. If you want it, you can add more contrast. It doesn't matter. It depends on how you want your photo to look. Yeah. So the orange the yellows, I think we have some yellows and we can change the yellows. Something like this. And the greens, if you want the greens to look something like this, it depends on you or it's over to you but I think it's good alright so over here I'll go to the basic and I'll add contrast I'll add contrast and I'll add more blacks more blacks I'll add more blacks and more white to my photo so that it will look very good alright so I think right now I think it's good so I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add um, you can go to effect over here and vignet vignetting so the vignetting may seems if you wanted to um, have something like this yes it depends on you so I'm gonna add a little bit vignetting a little bit I don't want it too high and the details will add sharpness and noise reduction you're gonna reduce the noise so if you want to reduce your noise it's gonna reduce your noise to make your photo look very smooth color noise you can reduce the color noise too yes and you add a little bit sharpness I think we are we are doing we are doing well over here and you can see that uh, our our work looks very outstanding yeah our work looks very outstanding so um, for the details I think it's good 
Um, okay, so I think this is all that we have. And um, after that, you can save it.